In previous episodes, we learned how to use git from inside Emacs using the magit package. We created some branches, we added some commits to those branches, and we pushed branches remotely to our GitHub repository. And we did all this directly from Emacs. Today, let's learn how we can go even further and how we can convert branches into pull requests using a package called Forge. So this package is already pre-installed in Emacs Doom. The only thing left to do is to configure this package. So let's do that now. Let's type the question mark again to see all the commands in Magit. In the fourth column you see the Forge trigger, which is the ampersand sign. So if I press it, I have now all the commands that come from the Forge package. In order to set up the Forge package, the first thing we need to do is to run the Forge pull command. If you're doing it for the first time, there will be an interactive setup where you will be guided how to create your token. This token will be stored in your home directory in a file called auf info, which can be optionally encrypted as well. So I had some problems with this. And if for some reason it doesn't work for you, you can always create this file manually. So the content of this file is really simple. It consists of seven entries. Machine, which is in our case GitHub, but you can also use it for other providers. Then there is login, which consists of two elements. And this is kind of a trick. The first one is your login for GitHub. And the second one is the name of the package that requests those permissions. And then there is the password. And for the password, you should go to your GitHub and generate a personal access token over here. And you need to set the repository permissions as well as the read org and uh, user. Once this token is generated, you need to paste it here. And this should be enough to make it work. Optionally, you can encrypt this file as well. Once we configure the Forge package, we can now perform this initial pull by doing Forge pull again. And it should work without any problems. So now if we look at our list of commits, we see that on the master branch, we have only one commit. And on the profanity branch, we have six commits. If we switch to GitHub, this is the same. We are on the master and we have one commit. And if we switch to profanity, we have six commits. So now we would like to integrate the changes from profanity into master. And for a moment, let's imagine that profanity is created by somebody else and we want to review those changes before we merge them. So we will create a pull request from this branch and submit it to the repository for somebody else to review it before it's merged. So let's see how we can achieve that using the Forge package and at the same time directly from Emacs. So if I press ampersand, I have three columns. I can fetch, list and create. So we are interested in creating a pull request. So I'll just press C followed by P. And now I can select a branch which will be the base for our pull request. So we want to create a pull request from the profanity branch. So I will, I will select that branch and I want to target the master. So that will be the branch in which the profanity eventually will be merged in. So now I can provide a short description will be, which will be the body of our pull request, explaining, for example, why this change is needed. Now I need to press Ctrl C, Ctrl C to commit those changes so that Forge will know that it can issue this pull request. Let's do that now. Once Magit finishes, 
you can see that there is another section in our status page and if we toggle it we see that there is the pull request which is created so let's verify that and let's go back to github to see if it's actually there there you have it we have our pull request with our description and with the five commits we want to merge from profanity into master so in the next episode we will see how we can merge pull request directly from emacs using my git and forge package that's all for today may the emacs force be with you